new details you're getting about who may have been in the cockpit. Yeah, the, the very latest camera that I have is that uh, there were three uh, cockpit crew on board that flight. Now, we understand there was the captain, the first officer, and a trainee pilot. Now, that trainee pilot was on board to train to fly this particular ATR. And, and the pilot, the captain in charge of that flight, was a, a known trainer as well at PIA. Now, all three were on board. Of course, we cannot verify who exactly was in the cockpit at the time of the crash. That will transpire once the in-flight recorder uh, can be listened to and gone through and investigations continue. We do know that one of the pilots made a mayday call uh, just before the crash, just before the flight lost uh, contact with the control tower. And we do know that this type of ATR has in the past had problems with engine failure, engines freezing up, one engine seizing up. Uh, could this be the cause this time? We'll have to uh, wait for investigators to reveal uh, what they find, and PIA says it will be working with international investigators on this. Amara? We don't know uh, the names of the victims, who they were, but we do know of one, uh, a pop star known very well in Pakistan. What else can you tell us about him? Well, uh, Junaid Jamshed was uh, an incredibly popular uh, pop star. He was, in fact, you could say the first, the trailblazer in a boy band called Vital Signs in the 80s. It, Pakistan at the time, of course, was a country uh, moving away from Zia al Haq's dictatorship, and, and this man was... Uh, a heartthrob across Pakistan. Now, the pictures we're seeing now of him are more recent, where he's uh, wearing a beard and more traditional clothes, uh, because later in life, he turned towards religion. He, he believed this was his destiny to, to perhaps reach out to people through religion instead of through pop songs. But the people that I'm seeing and that I'm talking to, posting on social media, are saying they will remember him as the voice of their youth, the voice of a generation, and the voice that spoke out for modern Pakistan, Amara. So many people saying how he and his band, Vital Signs, really changed the dynamic of Pakistan on the international map for Pakistanis, both in Pakistan and and abroad, uh, British Pakistanis like myself would sing along to one of his anthems, which was known as the secondary national anthem of Pakistan, mm. Dil Dil Pakistan. It meant, uh, I love Pakistan, it's my heart. So he was an incredibly popular person, but of course, not the only person on board. 42 passengers, five crew. We understand amongst them some infants too. And Chitral Amara is a, a holiday destination. It's in the mountains. There are yoga retreats there. People go there for their holidays or mountain climbing and paragliding from all over the world. Uh, and it's a very close community there. People really know each other. And I know so many people that had relatives on board, loved ones aboard, and officials that were very respected that were running uh, Chitral were also on board.